हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम टू पी एम नेटवर्किंग गाइज टॉपिक फॉर द डे इज एस डी एम एस डी एम एस डी एम स्टैंड फॉर स्विच डेटा बेस मैनेजर दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर और इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर यू सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो विल कवर बोथ थ्योरी एज वेल एज प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ एस डी एम ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम लेट्स बिगेन एस डी एम स्टैंड फॉर स्विच डेटा बेस मैनेजर वट इज एस डी एम एंड वट इज द यूज ऑफ एस डी एम गज एज यू नो मल्टी लेयर स्विच अ मल्टी लेयर स्विच सपोर्ट बोथ राउटिंग एज वेल एज स्विचिंग राइट मल्टी लेयर स्विच इज प्रोवाइड स्विचिंग एज वेल एज राउटिंग फंक्शन सो इफ आई हैव वन मल्टी लेयर स्विच एंड आई वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस स्विच फॉर राउटिंग पर्पज ओनली then we need sdm so sdm is used to sdm is used to manage memory uses on multi layer switches right on multi layer switches so suppose if i have one multi layer switch so by default this switch support both routing as well as switching means this switch this multi layer switch will allocate some memory for routing fun functions and some memory for switching function right but with the help of sdm we can manage the use memory uses on multi layer switches right with the help of sdm we can manage the memory i can tell to this switch to this multi layer switch that do not allocate any memory for routing function if i want to use this multi layer switch for routing function right suppose if i want to use this switch only for switching function so i can tell to this switch that do not allocate any memory for routing function you i am using this switch only for switching so allocate all memory to install to store mac addresses in mac address table okay so we have different types of template in sdm we will discuss each and everything but till now i had discussed that a multi layer switch supports both routing as well as switching means multi layer switch will allocate some memory to routing for routing fun functions and some memory to switching function okay and stm is used to manage memory uses on multi layer switches here you can see fine memory should assign for routing or switching fine let me move on next point if you want to use a multi layer switch for routing function there is no need to assign memory for storing mac address S right if you want to use a multi layer switch for routing only right there is no any logic to assign memory for storing mac address so you have to tell to multi layer switch that do not uh, assign any memory to store mac address fine let me move on next slide so here you can see or if you want to use a multi layer switch for switching function here if you want to use a multi layer switch for switching only there is no need to assign memory for storing routing table entries right so in simple word or in simple terms sdm allows managing the size of tables used by multi layer switches okay and we have four templates in sdm there are four types of templates used in sdm first one is default first template is default and guys this is a default templates on multi layer switch you can see this is default mode used by all the switches all the multi layer switches okay let me discuss some more points about default templates so let me move on next slide so here you can see in default templates this 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 is the default mode used by all the switches okay so on every multi layer switches default template will be default okay default templates give balance to all function this template default template will balance all functions means it will assign some memory for routing also and for switching also it support both routing 
and switching number of mac addresses supported in this template is 6000 right so in this template in default template a multi layer switch can make entry for 6000 mac address in their mac address table right so number of mac addresses that multi layer switch can learn is 6000 by using default template okay let me talk about the routing so number of route supported in this template is 8000 right so router can make entry in their routing table make entry up to 8000 in their routing table if we are using default sdm template fine next template is routing so first template is default in default default template support both routing as well as switching it will assign some memory for routing and some memory for switching right like if i want to use a multi-layer switch for both purpose for routing as well as for switching so you will use default templates and this is by default enable templates on all multi-layer switches right yahi multi-layer switch pe enable rehta hai or second templates kaun sa hai second templates hai routing routing agar aap configure kar dete ho if you will change template to routing from default so this stm template is used when you want to use multi-layer switch mostly for routing fun function right if you want to use a multi-layer switch only for routing function right then you will change the sdm templates sdm templates will be routing here most of the memory will be liquidated will be assigned for routing function so most of the memory is allocated to routing function and number of mac addresses supported in this template is 3000 right so in this template only 3000 mac address are supported mac addresses are supported and number of routes supported in this template is 11000 right so in default templates number of routes supported is 8000 and number of mac addresses is 6000 in routing module in routing temp template number of mac address supported is 3000 and number of ip addresses supported is 11000 okay let me move on next slide and third template is vlan template right vlan so if you want to use a multi-layer switch only for switching function right you can see here this sdm template is used when you don't want routing capability on multi-layer switch if you want to disable routing uh, capability or if you want to use a multi-layer switch only for switching function then your template will be vlan fine most of the memory is allocated for switching function here most of memory of multi-layer switch will be allocated for switching function how many mac address can be supported in this template is 12000 and how many routes can be supported is zero right here router can't maintain routing table okay so vlan template is used you will configure vlan templates when you want to use a multi-layer switch only for switching function and last template is access template this template is used when you want to create more acl on multi-layer switch right so this template will allocate most of the memory for creating acl access control list most of the memory is allocated for creating access control list and number of mac address can be supported in this template is 4000 and number of routes supported in this template is 6000 okay so guys now let me show you practically let me take access of my device okay so you can see i have access of my device here you will run command so sdm preferred to check sdm template and by default template is desktop default template right and in this template how many mac address can be supported 6000 here you can see number of unicast mac address is 6000 this is ipv4 multicasting 1k and number of ipv4 unicast root can be supported in this template is 8000 out of 8000 4000 6000 can be directly connected and 2000 can be indirectly connected fine this is default template guys and 
you can run one more command so mac address table count so mac address table count here also you can see total mac address space available is around 6000 right total mac address space available is 6000 now go to configure terminal mode and how to change sdm template so command will be sdm preferred and then if you will put question mark you can see access default and we have one more template like ipv4 and ipv6 this is different leave it for now routing and vlan suppose i want to configure vlan template here so command will be sdm preferred vlan and you can see change the running sdm preference have been stored but can take effect until the next reload so here we need to reload the device right it will take effect after reload so command is reload let, let me reload it say no just wait guys it will take some time it will take some time to reload after reload you will see uh, most of the memory will be assigned to a storing mac address a storing mac address in cam table Now my device is reloaded. Let me type no here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Now you can see. Enable and so SDM preferred. Command to check current template. So now current template is desktop VLAN. And in this template, how many MAC address can be supported? 12,000 right and how many ipv4 unicast root is supported zero right 
0. So most of the memory is assigned for storing MAC address in this template. Again if you want to configure set uh, routing template the procedure will be same. Procedure will be same here you can run so MAC address table count and you can see total MAC address space available is around 12,000 right. So SDM is used to manage the space the memory of multi layer switch by default multi layer switch support both routing as well as switching. If you want to uh, allocate more memory most of the memory for creating ACL you can configure access template ok. So if I want to use this multi layer switch I want to use this multi layer switch for routing purpose. So command will be this one SDM prefer routing and you, you need to reload this device again ok. So after reloading template will be changed that most of the memory will be located uh, allocated to routing purpose for routing function ok guys. So that's all for today if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye thanks for watching